or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in all thy son's command. Carton bras et porte la paix, il se porte la croix. First cap last, last game during the Super Series. Going herself, pinning her ears back. This is a good play by veteran Barbara Mervin. Moving the ball out wide. Good offloading here from Nels. Two players in support. Tessier goes herself. And Latoya Blackwood will touch down under a minute into this contest. And Canada are on the board here, much to the excitement of this home crowd. Man, the centers had a good game on Saturday. But a penalty awarded to the USA. Not releasing is the call. Kick is up. And it is through. So the USA are on the board now. Canada still with a 7-3 lead here. Good pick and go here from the forwards of Canada. Josephson trying to get this ball out. Finding Tessier into the midfield now. Burke. Good ball distribution. Thornborough goes herself. Trying to get it to Barbara Mervin. She does. Now Bukaboom. Dropping the shoulder inside the USA 22. This is good phases here from the Canadians. Tessier. Goes herself, good offload back inside to Sampson. Sampson out wide to Lisa Goche, and that's a highlight reel try going through the hands of the Canadians. And Lisa Goche with her first start for Canada, touching down under the post for the second try of the game. Augustin going to the back, overthrowing her target, but it's won there by Oswiani, finding it to the midfield. Rozier. Good burst of speed here from Wooden on the outside. This could be try time for the USA. So close to the line. One meter out. Good tackle from the US, from Canada. Trying to get the ball down. Will they get it? And the try is awarded. Not sure. A couple players in support. Quick ball here. Now Tessier going herself. High tackle coming out. Referee blowing it down right away. That was against Joanna Kitlinski of the Glendale Raptors. Canada spinning it out wide through Zussman. Now Burke going herself. Burke right up the gut. She's got one player on the inside. That's Laura Russell as she can pass it to her. And she will not need her. That is Andrea Burke scoring Canada's third try. Run out of the post. What a great play there by the inside center. Two Eagles on that blind side picked by the number eight. That's a good play from... USA, Tessier can't get a hold on her player. This could be a try for USA. And diving over the line is Joanna Kitlinski for the second try for the USA. Pick coming from the number eight. This will be a try for USA. Show and go coming from Jordan, Jordan Gray, the Brigham Young University student, just showing and going. And One there by the Canadians. Josephson to Mervin. Burke's got one player in support. This is Lisa Goche. She is gone. She will pin her ears back for that line. Can she get there? Can she get the ball down? I'm not sure she has. And she cannot get the ball down. Running a little bit too high. Changing it up and see if it, um, something different can happen for the Canadians. USA attacking this blind side here. Good tackle from Blackwood as Wooden trying to get chipped over the top and the chase is on. Does that ball land in her hands? Yes, it does. One player to beat, Natasha Smith. Can she get her down? No, she does not. And the USA will touch down under the sticks. That is Jessica Wooden, the fullback, with a beautiful showcasing of skill. Running it up now, Tiffany Fay, Right up the gut, Samantha Pankey. Big hit coming in from Pankey. Challenge accepted by Katie McNally. Now Wooden. So much pace around the outside. Canada are going to have to stop her, and they do not. Fullback, Jessica Wooden touching down for another try, and this is a big advantage for the Americans. Thornborough getting past one player, has two players in support. Natasha Smith needs to pass the ball or score herself. One meter out now, and the ball is knocked on. I don't believe it. Folk off the American hands. Now Zussman cutting back in. Good burst of speed here from the replacement, number 10. And this is Zussman pinning her ears back. And she will score for Canada. And that's a beauty score here from Zussman. Just first off, uh, just describe the emotions of scoring your first career test try. Oh, I don't know. I was tired. No. 
Um, it was a great feeling. It's probably one of the best feelings you can have. Uh, today, obviously not the result Canada was looking for. What, what do you think? What do you think was the turning point or the difference in the game today? Uh, well, we had moments of amazing rugby, and then we'd kind of fall back on defense, and they they saw the gaps and just used the mistakes that we made. So, but otherwise, not when it was great, it was great, and we'd just have to build for the next game. Uh, heading into the England game, uh, what do you guys think you need to kind of maybe improve on or? execute better or? Uh, definitely our defense, we're probably going to work a lot on that. Uh, hitting low, uh, when we go into contact, we're a little high, so maybe bringing that down and and just doing a little bit better than we did today. <laughs> uh, just for you personally, obviously this is your first run with the test team. Uh, just what's it been like so far through two games now? Oh, it's been amazing. Uh, the, the girls on the team are, are just great, uh, super supportive. I've learned so much. Um, I, I'm kind of dreading the last game because then that means I gotta go home and leave everybody. But it's been amazing. It's a great experience. All right, uh, kind of a tough one. You guys got up early. Uh, where, where did the momentum kind of switch for you guys? So Why? It's it's the momentum switch numbers of time when uh, we were missing our tackles. Uh, tackles, tackling is 50% of the game, you know, in the skills. So uh, we, we've we've tried to work on that the last two days, but it's not in two days that you fix your. Your tackle technique, it's in many years, so uh, uh, this is the message we need to, to, uh, to spread around, across the country in terms of skills. And low tackle is right now uh, uh, something we have a lot. I know this is just your second game since the World Cup, but that execution, whether it's a tackling or the uh, passing, seemed to be just a little bit off. I thought it kind of showed a little. Yeah, first, it's not the same team. For, for, yeah. for, for, and, uh, it takes it takes time to uh, to make that link between players. It's not an excuse at all. Uh, the Americans were more physical today. We played well at the time, but we were not consistent enough uh, to win that game. And uh, physically, uh, they they were, they were they were better than us in, uh, in intensity. In, uh, that's it's a fact. You know? So that's why the momentum changed one moment when uh, we were not able to. Uh, to push them uh, back. In Canada, to play the U.S. on Canada, I thought it was a pretty good atmosphere and it looked like you guys were able to capitalize on that area. Yeah, it's great. I, I'm really disappointed for the crowd and obviously for, for the team, but uh, uh, the setup here was fantastic. Everything was set for a, a great day. We had we had good moments of rugby. I'm sure the fans enjoy, enjoyed it, but uh, once again, uh, we were not consistent enough to, to win that game and uh, to put 18 minutes of rugby. So I, take, I take the responsibility of this and uh, I, I hope the the player and the team and uh, we will bounce back against England uh, on Sunday in Edmonton.